What's good, YouTube? This your man, Spio Dog. Yo, man, Cam Bolts is one thing you got to say about Cam Bolts is he maximized his opportunity. Uh, Tia Fimo Lopez, he, he really, he, he owe tail. He owe tail big time. I mean, he, he, he really should at some point go, go see, find Tia Fimo and shake his hand and say thank you. Uh, he had one. He, 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 he lucked up and got in a fight with Teofimo Lopez, and Teo took him completely unserious uh, and went out there and slipped up and, and, and lost. And he and he basically made a career off that one fight, uh, a pay-per-view career at that. Uh, he, fought, he fought Devin in Australia because he had the belts. And now I see, I don't blame Devin. That was the easiest money in the world rematch of Camp Bosters. That was easy. That was an easy paycheck. That was a way for him to, uh, because Camp Bosters beat Teo, it could be looked at as Camp Bosters was a real fighter. And this gave Devin an opportunity to go in there with a C level fighter who was getting A level credit and go out there and get a lot of credit for a guy that was basically a uh, damn near sparring partner uh, level. I hate to say it like that, and I, I'm just saying it like that because he had no business in the ring with Devin. They ain't nowhere in the same stratosphere. Then he looked up and got this fight with Lomachenko. So that one fight, that one fight with Teofimo Lopez, got him three big major fights and got him looked at as if he was one of the top guys in the division, and he was never that. I mean, uh, one thing about it though, you know, you can't blame him for it. All you can do is take your hat off to him for because he truly maximized that one opportunity with Tiafimo Lopez. And he done made a gang of money since then when, in a true honesty, it's, 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 it's a smorgasbord of fighters that could that should have been in his position. There ain't no way he better than Shakur, Keyshawn Davis, uh, Frank Martin. You know, it's a gang of dudes. Navarrete, it's a gang of dudes that I think are better than him, but he, he but he just had one, two, three, four big title fights in a row. Uh, I, you gotta give you gotta give him some love for that. I mean, you know the man the man maximized his opportunities. Uh, I think I think that was the final chapter that fight with Loma. I don't think we'll see him on that high stage again. Uh, in all honesty, if I was him, I'd be glad with what I got packing in and call it a day. You know, uh, it, it's pretty much, you know, it's obvious he ain't on that level. You know, and uh, shit, he could be glad he got it, that he that he made it this far. I mean, you know, you can't never take the fact away from him that he was champion once. Can't take that from him. And he been in the ring with Lomachenko, Devin Haney, and he knocked, and I mean, he beat Tiafimo Lopez. All those is facts. Now, some of that, you know, and, and you can't say he didn't deserve it because that's the way the cookie crumbled. But just because it crumbled that way don't mean it was actually uh, a good cookie. <laughs> you know, uh, I mean, that, that the performance he put up Saturday night in his own, own hometown, come on, man. Uh, but I'm glad the, the, uh, the George Camp Bolsters tour is finally over. We, ain't got, we don't have to suffer through that no more. And maybe some of the guys that's more deserving can get these shots now, like Shakur Stevenson uh, and, and Keyshawn Davis and fighters of that caliber, and we can stop playing games out here like this. But uh, that's it for me on this video. If you liked the video, hit the like and subscribe. Until the next time, it's your boy Spiel Dog. I'm out.